Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at Canon's webcam utility software. What is it, how can you use it, and what is its major flaw? Before we jump into the video, please make sure you subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Lots of awesome tech on its way, some exciting stuff, so it's worth pressing that bell, liking, sharing, all the YouTube things, really appreciate it. Canon's webcam software then. Now, it does have its flaws. We'll get onto that later on in the video. If you, by the way, if you want to scrub through the video, if you want to skip the chitty chatter, you can do. The timestamps are linked down below so you can go to the various chapters. If you're in a rush, doesn't offend me whatsoever. You can do it. So the software does exactly what it says on the tin. You can use your Canon DSLR or mirrorless camera as a webcam for Zoom calls or live streaming. By the way, this whole video has been recorded on OBS with the Canon utility software. So this is what it looks like. The whole video is recorded on it, apart from the screen recording later on and a bit of B-roll over the top. The talking shop is using the Canon software. Before this software, you had to use some kind of HDMI capture card to use the HDMI to the computer via a capture card so you could capture the image from the HDMI. That made sense to me in my head. Maybe not to you. I've done lots of videos. I will link them up above. It is an option still because your quality is still a little bit better, especially when you're using cameras like the Canon R6 because these cameras have a clean HDMI output, which means you don't have any overlays over the picture. No autofocus box. It uses autofocus as well while you're live streaming with the HDMI. If you've got a cheaper camera like this camera, the Canon M50, then it doesn't have a clean HDMI output and you have to use manual focus, which isn't always ideal for some people. Some people like having autofocus. For me, it's not a massive problem because I only use it for these kind of sort of situations and for recording my podcast. So the advantages are with the webcam utility software, it takes advantage of all the features on the camera. You plug it in, the screen is still on on the camera, it uses autofocus and there is no overlays over the picture. So it's effectively a clean HDMI output using the USB. Let me show you quickly how to install it on the computer and it is pretty simple. This won't take long at all. So here we are with Google, simply search for Canon webcam utility. I have already, so it pops up. You go to Canon's website and we scroll down and here it is, it tells you a little bit about it and you can download here for Mac or Windows. So it's available on Mac and Windows. You can use it on both systems with its limitations, which like I said, we'll get onto in just a second. So it is simple as that, download the software, that is on your computer, and then when you log into Zoom, you join a new meeting, and then all you have to do is select the camera down here as uh, the webcam utility. It won't work at the moment because I'm using it with this um, for OBS. So you can only use it on one thing at a time, which is one of its disadvantages. So that's what it is, how to install it and how to use it. It's relatively simple, and it, I think the quality is pretty good. And the fact that it's got that autofocus built in with the clean HDMI effectively, I just think it's really, really a good bit of software and it works really well. So what I use it for is a podcast. Now, this is where its major flaw comes in. It's quite a specific reason and there's quite a specific case use, um, but it is its flaw for me. Now we have a podcast, it's called Tech Is Hard. I'll link it up above, go and check it out uh, with myself, Danny Black from Brisbane, Australia. It's a lot of fun, all about tech. Uh, go and subscribe, you won't regret it. Now what I do is, because Danny's in Australia, we have a Zoom call and I use my camera for the Zoom call. Then I'll do an, a new movie recording with QuickTime and then Danny edits that QuickTime recording in post. Now it's quite complicated, um, but we've got it down to fine art at the moment. The only problem with the Canon Utility webcam software is that, for one, it doesn't work in two programs at the same time. Now. I need it to work in two programs. I need it on the Zoom call because I'm talking to Danny and then I need it to record the movie recording over here for the edit of the podcast later on. And the second major flaw is that it doesn't work in QuickTime even if you aren't running it in a separate program. For some reason, it has a limitation where it doesn't work in certain um, programs, certain softwares, and the webcam utility software does not work in QuickTime. And that is a major limitation for me, even if I wanted to use this as my main camera to record the podcast, I can't. I'll have to use the Canon R6 with the HDMI Elgato capture card so I can use it in both programs at the same time and film the podcast. So that is a limitation. It's quite a complicated one and it's quite a specific case one, but it doesn't work in QuickTime if that's what you're using it for. Other than that, 
If you want to use your DSLR mirrorless camera for Zoom calls or live streaming, it's a fantastic option. You've got autofocus, you've got the screen still on, which helps a lot because you can change the settings on the screen. And it's just a really good quality picture as well. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the Canon webcam utility software. And yeah, subscribe, like, share, check out this video, subscribe, podcast, all those things. Thanks for watching. Camera's just about to die. Time that well.